Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through the steps of how I prepare and smoke these St. Louis style ribs in my propane smoker. First things first, you want to get them out of the bag. For this uh, recipe, it's very, very simple. You want some seasoning that you're going to season your, your uh, ribs with. You want some mustard that you're going to use as a base. Uh, you want something to put a container in because you're going to be leaving them overnight if you have the time. And then of course some of the saran wrap to kind of cover everything up. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to coat your your ribs with some, with some mustard. This is all it's going to do is it's going to act as a binding agent for your rub. Now I do make my own rub. I do have videos and I'll put a link on the on the video here so you guys can go see if you want to make your own rubs here. Um, comes out a lot cheaper than having to go buy some every time. But uh, check out that video as well. Is get your mustard, shake it up. And we're gonna smother this. Oop. All right, get some of these bones out of the way. I usually like to, to start the seasoning with the bottom first because that's I'm gonna the bottom is where the the main part of the bone is so I'm gonna start off here and then uh, season the top so just go at it be generous as as much or as little seasoning as you want any of your favorite rubs or you can go ahead and check out my other video like I said that deals with how to make this type of rub gonna get every little piece here then we want to flip it over and then just get the top part all right so now what you want to do is you want to put it uh, that's why I bought one of these they're like little uh, it's like a meat container I'm gonna put it in here and and uh, work on the next one so when once you have the first one on the bottom um, you want to put a little uh, piece of saran wrap on top of it just to keep the first one and the second one separated more than anything is just so that the season seasoning stays on each of the racks as much as possible so I just kinda cover this up here a little bit kinda like so get our second rack goes right on top of that one and since we're here already might as well open it up for the third one alright there you go so because I have time, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to throw these in my refrigerator and leave them overnight so they can really like um, get the flavor of the seasoning. But you don't have to leave them overnight. I mean, if you're in a time crunch and if you just have 30 minutes, if you have 10 minutes, whatever it is, it's better than nothing. But um, for this cook, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the, in the refrigerator and then I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow morning when I wake up to uh, throw these babies in my propane smoker. Let me give you a little rundown of uh, how I set up my smoker. Um, I did turn it on prior, about 15-20 minutes so this thing can heat up. I did put chunks on the bottom, I, I went with uh, apple wood chunks. Um, I did use a pan as well. If you are interested on why I have a video on that, I can uh, put it put it up for you guys so you guys can see that. Instead of water, I'm, I'm using apple cider vinegar on the pan, and um, I am for we're using the three two one method to uh, do these ribs. So the first myth, the first part of the three two one is uh, three hours of smoking, just the way you see them. Just load them up on your smoker, bone side facing down, and um, you're going to smoke them at about 225 to 250, no more than 225 to 250 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to smoke them for three hours. So that's the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to close this up, smoke them, and then I will come back after the three hours and show you what to do next. So for those of you who are smoking for the very first time or for the first couple of times in the, these propane smokers, um, it, there is a learning curve. It did take about 30 minutes to really dial her in. When I first started it, I turned it on and I put it at the highest setting possible in the flame uh, to get the, the smoker up to temperature. But as the uh, smoker started 
getting into its own little groove, you start to have to lower the temperature a little bit, especially if you're going to be smoking at uh, low temperatures between 220 and, and 250. Uh, for me, my smoker settled down. I don't know if you can see down there the uh, the knob on the dial right there. It's almost at the lowest setting possible. It's a couple of uh, clicks away from being in the lowest setting. So by doing that for me on this smoker, it uh, it dialed it into about 240, 45. All right. Not every smoker is the same. You might have to go a little bit higher or a little bit lower. But um, what helps me keep the temperature without flaring up is that pan that I showed you guys uh, earlier. So uh, it really does bring out a lot of smoke, as you can see here from in the background. Very faint, but there's a lot of smoke coming out uh, on my smoker. So we're gonna keep these ribs in here for about another two and a half hours uh, before we go to the next step. So part of the uh, second stage of the three, two, one method is to add some type of marinade to your ribs. The way I create my marinade is I use a one to one or two or one ratio from barbecue sauce and uh, pineapple juice. Now depending on how thick you want this marinade, you would either use more pineapple juice or more barbecue sauce. But I like to keep it at about a one to one ratio more or less. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add about a cup's worth. I might have to add make more in case it's not enough. About a cup's worth of barbecue sauce. Then I'm going to add another cup's worth of pineapple juice. I'm going to mix this. Alright, you want to set this aside for the stage to come? Alright, so we got to a point where we're finished with the three hours. Where I'm going to open the smoker up and see what our uh, ribs look like at this point. We've been keeping it at about 220 to 240 more or less, uh, regulating the temperature. Smoking them for three hours, so... The reveal. It's got a nice color to them. Let me go ahead and pull these out and show you what to do next. So for uh, this portion of the cook, the two method, which is going to be wrap them in foil, put them in the smoker again for another two hours. I recommend that you get some heavy duty aluminum foil. A lot of the products that I use here on my video, I do have a uh, link in the description below. If you guys are interested, go ahead and click on that uh, through Amazon. You can purchase a lot of these items. But um, what you want to do is you want to get two pieces of heavy duty aluminum foil, overlay them a little bit, and if you're outside, find something to anchor it down because the wind will take it. We're going to go ahead and uh, put our first uh, slab of ribs here. Alright, so here's the first one, got a nice little color to it. For this one, we're going to go ahead and put it bone side facing up. We're going to add that marinade that we created a little while ago. Right around there. And then we're going to wrap these up. Nice and tight. And then we're going to go ahead and put this, uh, these um, ribs back in the smoker, keeping the same temperature and everything for another two hours. We got to uh, the one method and the three, two, one method. Uh, what I did is I unwrapped them, and just be careful because they're hot, as you can tell. This last stage, it's uh, it's a, it's really up to you. One meaning that you're gonna put them back in the in the smoker with bone facing down, and you're going to smoke them another hour. Really, this is done to kind of stiffen them up because once you wrap them in foil, it softens them really, really by a lot. So if you want a little bit of a tug to your, to your uh, ribs, you want to leave them in, in here about an hour. I personally don't like them that tough, so I'll probably leave them in here about 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, no more, and then pull them out. But um, at this time, if you want, you can leave the, the ribs the way they are and just uh, put them in there for that extra time that you want to do it. Or what you can also do is throw in some barbecue sauce smother some barbecue sauce over your ribs to start giving it that little flavor. 
Uh, what I'm going to use is uh, Sweet Baby Ray's. Uh, and I'm going to just kind of smother it. Just be careful. Just know that um, barbecue sauce has sugars in it. And sugars tend to burn off real quick. And they tend to give your meat a, uh, a burnt look when it's not burnt. Um, so this one is really up to you. It's up to uh, for your taste. I'm just going to give it a little light slather. All right, so this is the finished product right here. Remember, it was three hours on their own, two hours wrapped with a uh, marinade, and then about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on your taste, uh, wrapped, uh, unwrapped, and with a little bit of barbecue sauce. Um, we have one, two, three. This one kind of fell apart on me uh, before I could put it back in the smoker. But let's see what this baby uh, gives off. Not too bad. Hey, look at the center cut right here. Nice. Has a little smoke ring going on right there. Not too bad. All right, I'm gonna have to taste these. I'm gonna have to taste them just to make sure, you know, quality control. See how these babies came out. Mmm. I mean, it speaks for itself. Oh man, that was good. Sorry about that. Now, the way you want to cut these is you want to give them at least two, maybe up to three. You want to cut somewhere in the middle to give yourself a nice little hand candy here to eat with, right? This has been the smoking beard. It has been a 3 2 one method smoking my St. Louis style ribs in my master, pay, uh, master built propane smoker. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos, but for now, I'm going to cut these up. They're not going to last. See you guys. Thank you. Mmm. Good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Look at that smoke ring. Mm-mm.